Good morning, guys. Um, it's been a while. What can I say? Uh, what's new? Um, I oh, I replaced my countertop in the kitchen. The old one's just back there now. I'm using it as just like a um, alcohol table, basically, and to hold my keys. But yeah, it's a nice bigger countertop right there in the kitchen. That took a long time to build considering it was suggested to have two people to build it, but it was just me and I was like, you know what, I can do it. And it, it was difficult, but I mean, I got it done. Um, today, so I'm not sure if this is a um, an issue any of you guys had, but I literally, it was like the worst timing ever where you know if you park a vehicle outside, when it gets cold out, apparently it is very common for rodents to get into your engine, or not engine, or just into like, you know, bits of your car to stay warm. And a couple days ago, when I started my car in the morning to head to work, I felt I was like, why does it feel weird? It started like almost shaking kind of, and then I looked at my dashboard and there was like a couple warning lights going off. So I was like, mm, that's not good. So when I was driving, I every time I got to a like stoplight, the car kept shaking a little bit <laughs> and I couldn't exceed 60 kilometers per hour. So obviously there was something wrong. So I went to the dealership and was waiting for like three hours until they told me that rodents got into my car and basically chewed not one, not two, not three, but four wires. And that cost me a pretty little penny of $800. Those rat bastards. So now, I couldn't pick up my car. They had to order the parts, basically. So I couldn't get it even done there. So I had to get picked up from a coworker. I basically had a couple coworkers drive me, pick me up from home and drive me back home. So I'm super grateful for them. But now, I get to finally pick up Kronk. He's been in the shop, poor guy. He's basically allergic to rats, as most trucks are, and they got him good. They got him good. But um, Anthony, my brother-in-law, is going to, is very graciously um, said that he could drive me to the dealership to pick up my car. I also, today, will be very interesting because not only did I pick up Kronk, I will need to find something to defend Kronk from all these allergic reactions to mice. Um, so it would stop nibbling on him. Um, what they suggested was uh, peppermint essential oil. Apparently if you dab that on like the plastic parts in your, around in your engine parts, in, around in your engine, it will help deter uh, rodents. Another one is mothballs. And um, I think what I will try though, just because I think it's hilarious, um, is to buy Coyote Pee. Did you know Canadian Tire sells Coyote Pee? I didn't. I googled it. Or I didn't google it. I just went onto the website and typed in Coyote Pee. And they actually do have um, a thing of it. <laughs> and that's like $14.99 for Coyote Pee. Um, what I read about though, about Coyote Pee, is that all you have to do is basically um, spray a bit of a pee perimeter around your vehicle. So I'm going to do that and try that out. As soon as we pick up Kronk, we are going to go head down to Canadian Tire and find this Coyote Pee. And hopefully, we'll find out. It'll be very interesting when I check that, that, that thing out in the, at the cash register because <laughs> they're going to be like Coyote Pee, okay. All right, I'm changed, and my brother-in-law is now waiting for me outside. Let's go. Kronk, I'm coming to get you, buddy! All right, I'm back inside Kronk. It's not shaking anymore, so that's good. All right, so I'm gonna fix the seat here, because whoever was sitting here before was definitely taller than me, because the seat was so down, so far down. Uh, let's turn up the heat. Um, don't know if you can hear me actually. I'm gonna go head to Canadian Tire and we might maybe check out winners, although because it's a Black Friday weekend sale, I'm not sure if I want to, but let's see how things go. All right, buy Coyote urine. This cost me like $17. So we'll spray this. We're on the perimeter, I guess, of, I don't know if I have enough for the drive because it comes in such a small ounce. So we'll see. All right, so I just came back. 
sprayed the coyote pee just along the perimeter of my driveway and a little bit underneath the truck as well and yeah I sprayed it all around there's still some left so I'm glad I only bought the one bottle and it, and if anyone's curious it does smell like pee just pee it smells like pee I sprayed it all along the ground it's like a mist so I think like even just a little bit of a spray of it it was pretty powerful man who knew you had to deal with this as an adult you guys probably knew I'm still learning apparently all right thanks for watching see ya